Good morning. Today is June 13, 2010, and this is HurricaneCities.com with an update on your tropical weather. Invest 92L, located in the eastern Atlantic, has formed this morning. If this is the way the rest of the hurricane season holds, then it's going to be a very, very long, potentially dangerous hurricane season for 2010. I am closely monitoring an area of low pressure labeled Invest 92L, which is located about 900 miles southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, 8 north latitude, 32.5 degrees west longitude. This tropical disturbance is nearing tropical depression status. Satellite imagery this morning shows that Invest 92L is becoming better organized with each new satellite imagery and I think that will be upgraded to a tropical depression status sometimes this evening or very latest early Monday morning. In fact, we may see it reach tropical storm strength and its name will be Alex sometimes during the day on Monday. Analysis of the system shows that environmental conditions are favorable for development and intensification and we have very warm sea surface temperatures, good outflow, plenty of moisture, and low wind shear values over that region. The latest model guidance is forecasting that a low shear wind shear value will continue for the next two to three days and thus they are forecasting that 92L will have winds of 50 to 670 mile per hour which will classify it as a tropical storm in about three to four days. After that, weakening is forecast by some model guidance due to the fact of increasing wind shear values as the system closest, gets closer to the Lesser Antilles in six days. My take on this is that it looks like a slow but steady intensification over the next few days and I expect that we may be seeing a 50 mile per hour tropical storm around Tuesday or the latest on Wednesday and the name will be Alex. The latest models track showing that a west-northwest track will be expected for the next two to three days. The model guidance may actually be too far to the north on their tracks. The reason I think this is because we currently have an area, a large area trough of low pressure near 50 west longitude. This trough should lift over the next few days and it will give way to a ridge of high pressure. This weather pattern will favor a west-northwest track over the next several days and the system could be very close or near the Lesser Antilles on or about Friday. All interests of the Lesser Antilles should keep a very close tab on this system. It should be also noted that the long-range GFS models are forecasting plenty of activity across the intertropical convergence zone over the next two weeks. The combination of this strong high pressure to the north and a light wind flow aloft could lead to additional tropical cyclone development between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa over the next two to three weeks. Also, satellite imagery this morning is showing another strong tropical wave located over the western Africa and this should emerge over the eastern Atlantic over the next day or so. So I think that it's going to begin to start out as a very active hurricane season as I mentioned at the beginning of this discussion and we should keep a very close tab of all development in the Atlantic Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. Our next tropical weather discussion will be held on Monday morning around 8 a.m. Thanks for choosing HurricaneCities.com. Have a great day.